good morning good morning to you to everyone all my um peeps that usually um view about my menopause and pre-menopause um conversation all right so um i just wanted to make this short video with you guys this morning um as i mentioned earlier i didn't post that video as yet but um i mentioned that i'm not feeling so good for the longest while um in fact uh taken two different times i did a short video while i was at the hospital i didn't post it um heart palpitations and and, and like two different times i've taken in one day like just a few hours apart where i just sit and stare and couldn't move i couldn't even ask for help my uncle was there talking with me and i couldn't even say help me you know and then i recognized that two times it happened and i wanted water so i could remember I was pointing to the water and he realized that i was saying i want the water so he bring it and he started feeding it to me so after i see that i got a two attack in one day I went to the hospital, that was Old Year's Day, the New Year break me with a long needle in my arm. Um, I really thought that I was going to die because um, I couldn't move, I couldn't ask for help and the heart was fluttering. Now um, I went to the doctor, they did a lot of tests, um, blood tests, x-ray, ultrasound, heart tests, everything and everything is okay. But that's how I was feeling and then, you know, even after they discharged me, um, I came out of there. Um, like almost five o'clock um, New Year's morning I feel like I was getting the attack again like sometime during the the next day which in there would be the second and I got scared um, I've recently um, observed that it was coming on back on me like I think it was yesterday and the day before but very mildly um, I was thinking that I started trying to figure out what, 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 what I did the day prior to the happening to me. On two occasions, I took long to eat something because I was doing some wigs. I took long to eat something, so I think that was part of it. And then um, I eat pepper, and I'm not supposed to eat pepper. <sighs> yeah, I did eat pepper. You know, as we talking about changing your diet and doing things that make it more easy for you. But some food you eat, sometimes you just have to use the pepper. Anyway, um, I trace that two situation there, not eating on time and eating pepper. So I went to another doctor to get a second opinion. And they're saying, um, the doctor, she said, um, I'm going to give you a thyroid test. So I went and did the thyroid test and I'm waiting on the results. And if that is not the case, and with all the other tests that was already done, and then I did all these tests back in July because I had a similar attack in July, um, but then we could only melt it down to menopause or premenopause. Because um, it's since I'm, and, and I know, I know it's when I'm facing this excessive heat and this crazy sensation in my head, all these different things happen around the same time. I tried jotting down and writing down when this happened and what I was feeling before, what I was going through. And even though I'm not seeing my cycle at this moment, when the time comes around, when I'm supposed to see it, my body goes through the same feeling, nauseousness, tired, hair table, um, cramps, and all these different things. So, yeah, I have read that um, menopause and premenopause make you feel like you're getting an heart attack a lot of times. And it has been doing that to me at least. <laughs> I thought it was an heart attack. One thing that consoled me, was, I was, it wasn't a pain. It was just a sensation fluttering. And then when I sit down and relax, my left side was going like, you could have seen it. So when they did my um, blood pressure, the beat was 110 beats within the minute so the heart was beating very fast very fast i know i was excessively working hard during this time of the year it's been very busy for me because of the kind of work that i do i normally sell beautiful clothing and you know around the same people just buy a lot of nice clothes to go out and look nice and so on so i was getting up early in the morning leaving early and coming in late in the night and then i was doing my wigs and so for my customers that wanted me to do wigs and so for them so i think that was part of it i don't know but i'm waiting for the thyroid test results i'm gonna upload that to you guys when i get it and then we can know exactly you know 
more than ever how serious menopause is and what it can do to you can drive you in a fear of frenzy you know nobody want that <laughs> i ain't want that i'm with three children and my handsome handsome grandchild my mom my brothers and my sisters and my friends that I love very much and I know that they love me too. They want me here, you know. I had a lot of support. My uncle was there. He keep calling to see if I'm okay. I had my friend there. He followed me to the hospital. And then my brothers and so, you know, they're calling to find out, you know, how we're doing and what's going on. And so, so, you know, it's always nice to have family and friends that support you and help you through whatever. And you in turn, now for me, myself in turn, I try to be there for others because I know what it is when person there for you, how it make you feel very happy and make you feel relaxed and, oh, well, you know, you're facing it alone. Um, another thing that I find start happening to me is a pain in the neck. It's sometimes it's either on the left or on the right or on the back. So I did x-ray on that too. So um, I'm waiting on the results for carry everything to the doctor and see what they say. So this is Nori again, talking about menopause and premenopause, all uh, the sensations and the things that it is doing to me and how I'm feeling, how I'm coping. I'm sharing it with you guys. Hope you find some kind of comfort and, you know, you could share this video with others so that they too can, you know, get some kind of comfort or knowledge knowing that what to expect, what it does to you. All right, so that's all. I don't want to be rambling too much. You guys have a great day. I'm going to try and upload this video right now, but I did some video previous um, prior to this one, and I didn't upload it because I have to put them together. And anyway, thank you for listening. Please hit like and share for those of you who are now visiting this page, um, this video and listening about menopause and premenopause and what it has been doing to me. Please like and share and subscribe. Have a nice day. Love you guys. Bye.